My name's Julia Perry and our prayers for Saturday morning the 9th of May um, come to you from my home where I reside on land I acknowledge belongs and is in the stewardship of the Awabakal people. Our prayers begin in our prayer book on page 419. Our psalm this morning is the first portion of Psalm 22. And that begins on page 241, Saturday morning prayer. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. And our first canticle, the Song of Creation. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit, Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 22 and the first 22 verses. Psalm 22, page 241. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? My God, I cry to you by day, but you do not answer, and by night also I take no rest. But you continue holy, you that are the praise of Israel. In you our forebears trusted, they trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and they were saved. They put their trust in you and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man the scorn of all and despised by the people. Those that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out their lips at me and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord, let him deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delights in him. But you are he that took me out of the womb, that brought me to lie at peace on my mother's breast. I knew have I been cast since my birth, you are my God, even from my mother's womb. I go not from me, for trouble is hard at hand, and there is none to help. Many oxen surround me. Fat bulls of Bashan close me in on every side. They gape wide their mouths at me, like lions that roar and rend. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is like melting wax. My mouth is dried up like a pot surd, and my tongue clings to my gums. My hands and my feet are withered, and you lay me in the dust of death. For many dogs have come about me, and a band of evildoers hem me in. I can count all my bones. They stand staring and gazing upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. O Lord, do not stand far off. If you are my helper, hasten to my aid. Deliver my body from the sword, my life from the power of the dogs. O save me from the lion's mouth and my afflicted soul from the horns of the wild oxen.
creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation. Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our scripture this morning is from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 9 to 19. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that Jesus was there, they came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. So the crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify. It was also because they heard that he had performed this sign that the crowd went to meet him. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. And our second canticle is from Colossians, the song of a song of redemption. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And our collect of the week. God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Make us perfect in every good work to do your will and work in us that which is pleasing in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we particularly give thanks for the healing that has been a part of many people's lives and we pray for the many who are still adversely affected by this current corona crisis and those earlier in this year. Let us pray. We pray for our bishops, for our Bishop Peter and his assistant bishops, Sonia and Charlie we pray for all of those who are impacted and helped by their prayers and conversations. We pray for all of those who are around the diocese assisting 
each other and parishioners to pray and to be aware of a sense of community as a diocese. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our companion diocese, the Diocese of Guadalcanal. We pray for all of those in the clergy and people in the parishes of Adamstown, All Saints, Anew, Cameron Park, Georgetown and Micah Ministries. And as we pray for all of those who are preparing to return to school, we particularly give thanks and pray for the ministries of the staff and the teachers and the chaplain at Scone Grammar School. We pray that there might be real peace amongst those who are anxious about returning to community places and contact with others. We pray that you will too keep safe those who escort children to school and who will be there in various ways during their days. We pray for those who are on the front line in caring for those with COVID all of those who are being diligent about cleaning and making the places we need to go to for essentials as clean and healthy for us as can be. We pray not only for cleaners and those who stack shelves, we pray particularly for those who are perhaps tiring but unrelenting in their care of those, those who are nurses, doctors, all those who contribute to the care of the journey of those who are impacted by this virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are also in, still impacted by drought. We pray for those whose businesses were burnt to the ground in the fires. We pray too for those who were adversely affected by follow-up floods. And we pray that in all of this we might be mindful of our individual and church response to creation as it struggles. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are homeless those who don't have the luxury of staying home, for whom washing hands is not an easy practice. We pray for those who are close to being homeless because their businesses or employment are vanishing before them. And as we're mindful of those impacted by the virus, we're mindful of those who are close to us who are suffering other disease, especially those with cancer. We pray for those who are isolated in nursing homes. We pray for all of those who are in various stages of vulnerability and need. May our prayers be a solid response to their need and an awareness of your constant presence. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Lord and Heavenly Father, you've brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.